Welcome guys, this is another video. Um, this time we're going to look into Sagittarius Moon. So if you have a Sagittarius Moon placement, you can apply this video, okay? So let's talk about it. Let's talk and see what we have coming in, okay? So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. If you guys would like to book your very own personal reading, guys, that information is going to be in the drop box below. All right, so let's see what we get for my Sagittarius moon. Okay, Sagittarius moon. Sagittarius moon, what messages are there for my Sagittarius moon placement? Go ahead and check out my other videos, guys. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that bell to subscribe, guys. Go ahead and hit the like button, comment, share with your family and your friends, okay? Let's see. So we have a fiery climax approaches. A fiery climax approaches. Balance spirituality and practicality. And be bold and make the first move. Okay. All right. So let's see. I'm getting a lot of fiery passion here. What do we got for past energy? Past energy, past energy. What do we got for a past energy? Okay. I got a few things that wanted to jump out. So for past, we got adjustments are required. So you guys have to make some adjustments in your past. Okay. With moving ahead, we have look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture. You're very close to achieving your goal. It's on the bottom of the deck. And take time to breathe out. Okay. Take time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. Take time to breathe. 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 So right off the bat, I feel like there could be a lot of sex going on. A fiery climax approach. There could be a lot of sex. Okay. Um, but there is possibly like a time for you to take action. Um, you're coming to a place where like things are just very... Um, uh, like action, anything that I feel that has to do with wands or fire, I think about action, I think about passion, something that you're passionate about. So let's grab some uh, some additional cards and let's see where this is going to take us, okay? So we're going to stick with uh, present energy first. And please give me present energy for um, Sagittarius Moon, okay? present energy something wanted to flip out but it went back in okay so let's see sagittarius moon sagittarius moon okay so we got high priestess of water which is pisces cancer scorpio's energy but this is um you know being intuitive your emotions how you feel um and then we have strength okay but i'm getting <clears throat> strength is Leo's energy. I'm getting a lot of courage and courage in this fiery energy here. I'm getting like you guys are like very passionate about someone here. Self-worth and the moon. I'm definitely getting Pisces this energy. I'm getting a reminder. Um, somebody's being reminded of a promise that they made. Um, here I'm seeing that as well. So show me past energy. What's, what's past energy here? Past energy for my Sagittarius moon. Past energy. Okay, we have deceit. Deceit. Okay, so we have adjustments are required. And then we have deceit. Okay, so I have high priestess of air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I got cycles. Meditation. Okay, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There could be some serious um thoughts of deceit going on okay um it's like a phase possibly like a phase that you're possibly going through like i'm getting like there's a, a a cycle okay so some of you guys may fall into a certain cycle um here i feel like let's see like when you're thinking to yourself um, or when you're alone, I'm getting that there's thoughts, certain type of thoughts. 
Let's see what future energy is. Future energy. Future energy for my Sagittarius moon. Thank you. Okay, we have Grove. And then we have Obedience at the bottom of the deck. Wishing and Forbidden. Okay. Obedience. You may feel like there's a dent in... So, like, you may feel like... Um, let me read what Grove is, because Grove has a specific message. And I'm going to read it, what Grove is. Okay, so. Grove um, is, now is the time to apologize to anyone you have harmed. Make your friendships whole again and choose healing over anger. Choosing my beautiful Grove is a powerful sign that you are at a wonderful, strong time in your life. Show compassion and kindness to others. No one is perfect. Yet, imperfection is perfect as it is. If you are hurting, know that it will pass and that I watch over you. If someone you love is hurting, take this time to be there for that person. The sacred grove heals all aches and pains, especially a heart that has been wounded. Okay, so a grove is kind of like a place of, could be possibly like an altar or a place where, where you go to heal your wounds and to mend your heart. Okay, because I'm feeling like grove is things that are broken and needs to be healed and fixed and worked on. Okay, so we have Grove here and then we have Obedience um, and Wishing. So I'm kind of like getting like you wish that someone was more, you had someone more like tamed or on a leash. Um, not so much like on a leash, but kind of like using that metaphor. Um, you're wishing that this person was a little more obedient um, towards you. Let's get some clarifiers. Let's let's go ahead and dig. I do want to see why High Priestess of Water is here as well um, as Strength, okay? Why is High Priestess of Water here? I got the World card and the Six of Wands. So somebody here has been getting all of your attention, the World and the Six of Wands, okay? I'm getting telling the truth. Telling the truth. You're not in a rush to tell the truth about something. Ten of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Um, I'm getting like not in a rush for something. Why is the Six of... I'm getting like somebody here is like famous or very... Um, has a lot of fans with the world and the Six of Wands. I'm getting like a lot of fans. Uh, a high level. Somebody is very uh, in the spotlight. Why is the six of wands here? And somebody's fueling your fire. Yeah. Like somebody has fans. The lovers and the six of wands and the world. Like everybody likes this person. Um, everybody likes this person. Or this is your energy. Like everybody loves you. Temperance. This is you guys' energy. Okay. And this may be something that you're trying to get past because I got the five of wands is saying that you possibly have like a, uh, you possibly have like a issue with it and you're trying to find balance. You want to keep this person or you want to keep something to yourself. I feel like you're very possessive with the devil card here. I feel like you're kind of worried about this relationship and you're trying to like fight people off. Like you're trying to fight people off of this person. This could be you or someone that you're dealing with. Okay, I'm getting as well as the seat. Why is the seat here? This is past energy. King of Wands, you guys is energy. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. I'm getting like you're focused on your bag. Somebody is single and they are loaded with cash. Um, I'm getting that somebody is definitely like very focused in on their money. Okay. I'm getting like you don't want someone to ask you for money because you're focused on yourself. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. I'm getting don't ask. <laughs> I'm getting don't ask me for money because it's for me. I'm getting like kind of like being like in that mode. Why is the King of Wands here? The Chariot. You could be dealing with a, a Cancer. I'm getting a third party situation, three of swords and the empress and the seven of cups. Um, somebody's on hold. Something's on hold. We got the devil. 
The devil and the five of swords and the fool. Somebody's jealous. Somebody is jealous. I'm getting big, big, big jealous energy. Somebody is jealous and really upset. Okay. Really upset. I'm getting somebody is jealous. Somebody has some real jealous energy. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Capricorn's energy. Oh, this person. This I'm getting like crazy, crazy sex. I'm getting very, very possessive energy. And somebody is just like overly love. I'm getting like somebody overly loves somebody with the devil, the sun, and the ace of cups. Wow. Like somebody is like madly in love with someone. And I'm feeling that it could be a third party involved. Okay, I'm getting that there's possibly a third party and somebody is madly in love and obsessed and possessive. I'm definitely getting that. Oh, wish fulfillment. Like you want this person is a big fantasy. Like this person is like the nine of cups is a fantasy. Your wish fulfillment. Like, yeah, like this person, I feel like you guys are entangled. So like you guys got an entanglement going on and this person is obsessed with you or you're obsessed with this person definitely obsessed definitely like definitely <laughs> definitely we got the grove so why is the grove here for future energy the eight of swords okay why is the eight of swords here you're worried about this relationship though you're worried about this connection with this person. You made it, um, aren't speaking to this person. You feel a shift. And, you know, you feel a shift. Like, intuitively, you feel a shift um, that there's been some type of shift. You really care about this person with the King of Cups. But I'm getting this person drives you crazy sexually with the uh, Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. I'm getting like wild, crazy sex. Like the sex, the chemistry there is amazing. I'm getting like a sexual uh, attraction here. You're waiting for this person to call you or waiting for this person to reach back out to you. But definitely third party energy. Yeah, this person that you're dealing with on the side is like giving you the business. So why is the six of pentacles here? Yeah. You want to get together with this person. You want to come together with the three of cups, the tower, and the, the five of cups. Okay. Why is the five of cups here? They are having regrets. Okay. About offering or giving something. Um, maybe not having anything to give with the eight of cups. Okay. And the ten of swords. Page of Swords, but you're watching the hell out of this person. You're definitely watching them, especially with the Hermit and the Knight of the Page of Swords here. Like, definitely, you're keeping an eye on this person. But you're waiting to hear from this person, okay? You're waiting to hear from them. I feel like this person finally reaches out to you. Yeah, this person finally reaches out to you, um, but you've been watching them. I feel like they're, they are going to reach out. They are going to reach out to you. They are going to reach out to you. Um, communication is going to come in, but I feel like this person that you're dealing with on the side, I feel like this is side energy. Um, this has been coming out a lot. Like A lot of people are dealing with side, got their side things going on, and... But for you guys, this side person that you're dealing with is driving you up the wall. Like the sexual attraction is the chemistry there is like really extremely off the charts. Um, you could be doing this to somebody or somebody is giving you the business, but the business is being got. I just know that. All right. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below and I will chat with y'all next time. Ciao.